This is Today in Nashville, a celebration of the people, places, and things that make Music City a great place to live. Now your hosts, Kelly Sutton and Carol Sullivan. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I'm so excited to introduce the man next to me. You're hearing his song right now. Take a listen. It's called The Difference. This is Tyler Rich. How are you? I'm so good. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm so excited you're here. Me too. You haven't done a TV, well, you have done a TV show. You did one in Canada. Yeah. How did that go? It was good. Everybody in Canada is really nice. Okay, good. High expectations for you. High expectations. Yeah. Okay, it's good. Be good. So we will deliver. Um, right now, we're loving the song. It's being played all over the place. You've got such a buzz about you. You know that, right? Like everything is really happening for you right now. It feels like it's happening. It feels like it's crazy. Everything's amazing. It's just been a whirlwind of chaos. <laughs> which is great. Yeah. That's the best way for everything to happen. I met you in California, which is where you're from, mm -hmm. and you told me this fantastic story. Tell everybody how Dustin Lynch kind of helped you make the move to Nashville and, and take the next leap in music. Yeah, I was uh, still living in LA pursuing this career. I had just released one single, and it had gotten a little bit of buzz, a little bit of steam on Spotify and all those outlets, you know, as mm -hmm. an independent artist a few years ago. And I got an email from Dustin's management company saying, hey, we love what you're doing, and we think you need to come to Nashville and sit down and take a meeting with us. And so, you know, a couple days later, I was flying to Nashville and I came out alone here for a few days. And Dustin shows up to the meeting and he's like, hey, buddy, you know, I'm a really big fan. We've been watching you online and I think you got what it takes, but you got to move to Music City. And I moved, uh, you know, four weeks later. <laughs> I was going to say, you're like, yes, sir, we'll do that. Okay. Yeah. As fast as my uh, current apartment would let me leave is as fast as I got here. That's so awesome. Yeah. So awesome. You've been out on the road. I've been stalking your Instagram. You've been doing a lot of fun travels. Thank you for that. Um, I love the fact that you're a Disney fan, as am oh my I. Oh, God. Big, big Disney fan. <sighs> Around the world at Epcot, which is goals for me. Uh, but you also have a beautiful lady in your life. So talk Dude. about all about your fiance. Uh, Sabina is an actress. She's been in quite a few things. She's got a, there she is. There she is. Uh, she's got a lot of exciting stuff coming out this year. she got a TV show that was just picked up yesterday. Can you tell us about her or is it still like <sighs> I can't, under wraps? Okay. I can't, but it, it is a, it is, it, it's awesome. And it's going to be a big deal, yeah. which is awesome. She kills it. She's working 24-7, so I'm really proud of her. That's and awesome. Yeah, she's beautiful. She's a sweetheart. She speaks Polish. It was her first language, so I'm learning that right now. Okay, good to know. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Polish people love wine, don't they? Most of the time? So yeah. do Americans. Yes, we That's all that, yeah. love wine. <laughs> it's Wine Down Wednesday. I, I told you when you came in, I was like, get ready because it's going to be a fantastic show. We've got amazing stuff happening, including music on our stage. It's good. It's going to be good. It's all good. Keaton is here. Hey, Keaton, how are you? There he is. <laughs> oh, he's hanging out in the green room. You've heard his music on hit shows like <laughs> Sons of Anarchy, NCIS, Los Angeles, and Suits. He is playing with us before he has a show at NAMM. A lot of people are in town for NAMM. They're going to be checking out all the cool gear. He's going to be out there, too. And we have one of our favorites in the kitchen. Chef Andy Little is back just in the nick of time. He has all the grilling tips that you need for your 4th of July. I am excited to see what he brings to the table because, you know, I like to cook out, not all the time, but I'm okay at it. So yeah. he's going to be doing pork chops today. And then in our green room, you got to talk to Justin, right? I did, yes. Justin Flom, world-renowned magician. He is here, superstar. He has, look at Whoa. that, just that alone. <laughs> Amazing shows that are happening in town. He's going to blow us away coming up a little bit later on in the show. It's Awesome, and it's happening at one of my favorite places, The Standard. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you're in and out of town all the time because you're traveling, but have you been to The Standard yet? I have not. Okay, no. you need to check this place out. It's legit. It's beautiful. We're going to show you and tell you all about his shows there. A little sad today because we were supposed to have Kittle & Co. They were going to be here as our second musical guest. They were all set to fly in early this morning, and their flight was canceled. Oh, man. You know all about that, right? <sighs> that kind of stuff happens. But you can still go see them tonight. They're going to be playing at the City Winery. They have a new album out called Whirls. Look at that. Performing at City Winery. Doors open at 5. Show starts at 7. If you can't catch them tonight, you can go check out their website, jeremykittle.com, and you can see when they're coming back to town. Okay. Now, I know you're a dog person because we've talked about this in the past. What's your dog's name? Abby. Abby. And what is she? What kind is she? She's a husky. She turns 13 next month. <gasps> oh, that's and, the uh, best. It's okay. crazy. Has she ever tried to save your life? She has not. <laughs> I don't think so. It kind so. of puts it in the hierarchy. She has not. You're like, I don't think so. You're 
you're a good dog, but you've never given me CPR. Take a look at this. This was happening in Madrid, Spain. Hold on, they're gonna pan down. All right, so the guy goes down. This is the police canine. Comes running out, chest compressions. One, <laughs> two, jumps on it. Is this crazy? What? Doing chest compressions, and then listens to see if they're breathing. Oh my oh. God. Yeah, Abby, you need to take it up a notch. Isn't that cool? Who knew that a dog could do that? You think it's too late to teach Abby? I don't know. Old dog, new tricks, all that. I don't know, maybe. But isn't that the coolest? I mean. That was adorable. As if you needed another reason to love dogs. Oh, my God. So great. <laughs> okay, so I was asking you earlier, you've got a show. When's your next show? You've got uh, a while. We're, yeah, we're playing. I've got some time off. Good for you. I know. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Enjoy. Um, we're going to New Jersey next weekend. Okay. And then off to the West Coast. You're doing a lot of festivals, right? Mm-hmm. Big festivals, yeah. lots of people. You know what that's like. There's a massive festival that's happening in Canada, and they had to hit the pause button because all, all because of a bird. The Ottawa Blues Fest is one of the largest music festivals in the country. They had it all set up, and then they had to push pause because Mother Bird is guarding her nest. This tiny little bird like put a damper on the entire festivities. It's called a kill deer. It's protected by the Canadian government. So they set up a barricade around the nest, and they have guards there to protect it. The festival brings in 300,000 people. What? was supposed to begin July the 5th. They're hoping either the birds hatch or they can move the nest. That is like the ultimate. This tiny little bird just shut down a 300,000 person festival. Unbelievable. What? I know, right? I think the festival people are like, oh, could we just get the bird out of there, please? Another awesome story to share with you this morning. This is a star, Lonnie Chavis. He plays young Randall on the hit show. Recently, people have been posting pretty rude comments about the gap in his front teeth. I mean, like, he's a kid. He's 10. Well, this is what the 10-year-old had to say to shut down the trolls. All the trolls that have been trolling in my comments, uh, talking about my gap, I mean... I could, I mean, trolling, period. I mean, I could get my gap fixed. Like, braces can fix this, but, like, can you fix your heart, though? I mean, there are kids out here, like, killing themselves just because of y'all hating and trolling and and doing just crazy stuff. I mean, it's stupid. I mean, is it fun? No. It hurts people. People kill themselves, and you're the one who's making them do it. I mean, fix your heart, though. For real. Fix your heart, though. What? Speaking the truth. I love Man. it. He goes on to say, do what you want to do. Believe in yourself. Don't let the trolls bother you. It's pretty awesome. Man, that's amazing. Okay, so being who you are, do you read all the comments? Because, I mean, you're a public figure and you're out there on stage. Um, I try not. Well, um, the people on Twitter are the worst. <laughs> yeah, Twitter. <laughs> People on you know, Instagram, Facebook, and stuff like that is fine because usually it's people that follow you already. Mm -hmm. Twitter, people are brave to say whatever they want to say about people they don't know. Right. And we need more kids like that with the right mindset. That was awesome. So, yeah, you're just shutting it down. Okay. Shut it down. I know um, Holiday World is a big deal for me. Have you been to Holiday World yet? What is that? Oh, I'm about to blow your mind. Is that that big store that has all the year-round? No, Holiday Kidding. World is a theme park with roller coasters and a water park, and it's been voted like the cleanest in the world. You love Disneyland, yeah. so you need to go to Holiday World because it's closer. It's like two, three hours. So Where is that? In Indiana, and now's the time to go. We want to Let's send go. one of our viewers there for free. Here's how you do it. Pick up your phones right now and call the number on your screen, 615-737-4968. First caller wins two. General admission tickets to Holiday World and Splash and Safari. Now listen, if you don't win today, don't worry. We've got another chance for you to win on Friday. Truly, I grew up going to Holiday World because it's in southern Indiana. Yeah. Like, that was my jam when I was little. Got it. And now that I have a child, it's like all new again. Oh. It's so fantastic. I'm going to check it out. It's close. I know. Close, great roller coasters, free soft drinks, and free sunscreen the entire time you're there. I mean, what Sold. else do you need? Sold. Sold. Sold.